Hey y'all, so today I'm here to help you receive your healing through what I'm calling the 12 Healing Promises of Christmas. And this is a four part series we're gonna be doing through the month of December, and that's coming up right now. But if it's your first time here, my name's Pastor Adam, and in this channel, I help people walk like Jesus in everyday life with a focus on divine healing. So if that interests you, hit that subscribe button and join the community. And so the third healing promise we're going through, because we've already had part one in this series, you're gonna wanna check that out, so I'll leave a card right here. So the third healing promise comes from Matthew chapter 8 so grab a Bible and turn with me there right now this healing promise comes right in the beginning of Matthew chapter 8 we're gonna start in verse 1 and read this together so it says this when he came down from the mountain great crowds followed him and behold a leper came to him and knelt before him saying Lord if you will you can make me clean. You know, let's just stop there for a second. This is huge. Just so you know, for a leper to come into a crowd in Jewish culture was massive. It was, it was a big no-no. This person was willing to take radical risk in order to receive their healing. My question for you is how much risk are you willing to take moving forward to receive your healing? Now that's just a thought. Let's keep going. And Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him saying, I will be clean and immediately the leprosy left him and he was cleansed wow isn't that amazing so powerful so awesome but the healing promise we find is that jesus is willing to heal you jesus is willing to set you free as you take radical risk forward as you move forward saying jesus i'm going after this he says i am willing be clean be healed from head to toe and that phrase i am willing is meaning that he's always forever willing to set people free that's who he is the next healing promise we're coming through comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14. Let's go there right now. So here we find Paul is talking to the Corinthian church and he's talking to them about wisdom. And I love this section of scripture because it says this, the natural person does not accept the things of the spirit of God for they are folly to him and he's not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. Now look at this. The natural person does not accept the things of the spirit of God because they're a foolishness or folly to him. Man, this, so the next thing we need to understand is that, you know, just like the leper was willing to take risk, if our lives aren't starting to look a little bit foolish as we move forward after healing and his power and his person, then I don't think we've stepped into the place that we really need to. Foolishness could even just look like how you talk about your healing how you're adamant about it, how you don't waver, how you don't move off it. Because if you talk that way, you speak that way, there are people out there who are going to try and pull you from this. And we need to move forward and being radical and being willing to look just a little bit foolish in the sight of man. But if we're in faith and we're looking foolish to man, we're probably in the favor of God. The next healing promise we're diving into comes from Luke 18.35. Let's go there right now. It says, as Jesus drew near to Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging, and he heard a crowd going by. He inquired what this meant. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. And he cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And when they were in front of him, rebuked him, telling him to be silent. He cried out all the more, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and commanded him to be brought to him. And when he came near, he asked him, what do you want me to do for you? He said, Lord, let me recover my sight. And Jesus said, recover your sight. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he recovered his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people, when they saw it, gave praise to God. Amazing, powerful story. But you'll notice again a little bit of a theme coming in here. That this person, even though he was pushed down, rebuked, put aside, you know, shoved out of the way, he was 100% willing to keep crying out to Jesus saying, Lord, have mercy on me. He didn't back off. He didn't give in to the cries and the pushback of people around him, but continued to run after Jesus to receive his healing. And then Jesus himself, again, was willing. He said, recover your sight. Your faith has made you well. The next promise that we're looking at here is that your faith can make you well as you keep moving forward and you don't back off. Friends, the main theme in this healing promise, the main theme in this video is that you need to look a little bit foolish. You need to keep going forward. You need to keep believing and you need to not doubt, but hold on to faith. 
and not move left or right, but say, this is what the Word of God says, and I am going after it no matter what. By the way, this Christmas series is also coupled with a prayer for instant healing, another series I'm doing on Thursdays. And so you're gonna wanna check that out. I'll link that right here. And I also have some other videos you may be interested in right here. So don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. And remember, be willing to look a little bit foolish for the kingdom of God. We'll see you here next week.